just a short video comparing incubators. These are a few of the incubators that we use to incubate our parrot eggs here at Royal Parrots. So right in front of me, we have the Brinsea incubator, Brinsea or Brinsi or however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is the Octagon Eco. This is a well-known brand throughout the United States and this is a brand that's widely used to incubate parrot eggs. Um, over here, we have an incubator that we found on Amazon. It is a Kibonix. It's a digital incubator. Um, and this one we literally just found on Amazon. So let's compare the two. unit. This Brinsea cost us about $400 just for the top portion here. Now when I bought it I thought it was an all-in-one unit. Um, it advertised that it turns and um, that it turned the eggs for you but then I found out that no it does not turn the eggs for you. I actually had to buy this part extra. This is an automatic turner and this was about an extra hundred dollars this is the octagon auto turn cradle so this goes with the actual incubator so both of these pieces together cost about five hundred dollars now let's take a look at the brinsea it has a thermometer inside of this unit and this measures the temperature inside of the incubator dennis was telling me this is a, a um a, a, vent for the humidity. a vent for the humidity. So I asked. So if you close it, it gives you more humidity. If you open it out, it releases the humidity. Okay. But it doesn't measure the humidity for you. It doesn't show me like a digital thing. So you have to go by the temperature. So I actually did not know that when we purchased it. So as he said, it does this unit right here does not measure the humidity for you. And as we all know, it's very important to know the humidity when you're incubating parrot eggs. Humidity is super important. So as I said, these were two units that we had to buy separately so that they could incubate the eggs. So we'll show you how to cradle the incubator and the automatic turner some slots there on the side. There you go, there's a slot, slot one, slot two. And therefore, right in these brackets. Okay, and they go right in those brackets. Now, do not do what I try to do. I try to be cheap. I had an old automatic turner from an old incubator, and I said, oh, I don't want to spend an extra 100 bucks. Um, and I tried to cradle this new Oct uh, Octagon Eco in an old turner, and I think I cracked the old one. So they actually sell it together so that you can't use any old parts on the new incubator. You have to buy the new automatic turner with the new Octagon Eco. So pretty much what they try to do is force you. So if you had an old incubator model, you would think that the old cradle will fit on it. But what they do is they try to force you to go buy a new cradle because the old model will not fit in it. I'm pretty sneaky. So you're kind of spending your money, four hundred dollar to a $500 machine, depending on where you buy it from. It's just, if you can't afford this model, I highly recommend this other model we're going to show you, because this is a four to $500 machine compared to the other one, which I think is even a little bit better, and I'll show you why. Okay. It's only 90 bucks. So let's take a look at the other one here. poultry egg incubator but some people do use it as a parrot egg incubator and this is a $90 incubator on Amazon and what I like about it compared to the other one that's more expensive is that you can actually read the digital temperature and the digital humidity on it if my wife will show you here 99.5 is what's recommended for hatching parrot eggs my humidity is 70% because there's about to be eggs hatching soon, so you raise the humidity a little bit. But it has a couple nice features. Um, besides telling you the humidity, which the other one doesn't even show you, this one actually shows you digital. Uh, it's an easy way to control the humidity. There's two chambers inside for water. It's in that circle, right there. Mm -hmm. 
and then you pour the water through here. So you use a small cup, you start pouring water, and the way you know it's filled is uh, it'll reach to the top. It won't okay. take any more water. So, so it reaches all the way to the top when it's filled. Yep. Yeah. And then the humidity will start rising or lowering. What I like about this is that you can control the humidity humidity by adding cold water to lower it or hot water to raise it up. So you have to be careful how fast you do it. If you put warm water, it should be stable. And the one feature I like about this incubator is that the other one doesn't have, it has a light to candle your eggs. So if you press the minus here, it'll bring out the light <laughs> and you can candle your eggs. The other one does not have that feature. So it has an egg candler built in so you can, if you want to see your, to see if your egg is viable, you take the egg out obviously carefully and you check your and candle your egg. And then Another thing that has that the other one has is it rotates by itself every hour for 10 seconds. So every hour the eggs are rotating and they uh, for 10 seconds they rotate the eggs, which is great. Uh, the other one does more or less the same thing, but this has more features and it's a less cheaper egg incubator that works fine. We will show you that it works because we did hatch baby lovebirds in here. And, uh, but it has the light feature, which I love. It has so you can read your humidity and, you re and it keeps the temperature at whatever you set it perfect. Compared to the other one, that it could fluctuate. This actually keeps the temperature at 99.5. Mm -hmm. And why does the other one fluctuate? Uh, the other one fluctuate because when you open the uh, vent valve on that one, mm -hmm. it lets out water hot air and cold air, okay. so it'll fluctuate the temperature. This okay. does have, a, if you look behind here, let me show mm -hmm. you. It does have an open and closed little valve for the humidity. If you want to control it this way, you can. I use both, I do this and I use the water. Okay. So, but for somebody that can't afford a $400 mm -hmm. machine, I mean, this little thing is great for $90 and we already mm -hmm. have hatch babies on it. Yeah. And as Dennis said, this has an automatic turner and it wasn't a part that you had to buy separately. It no. actually comes with the unit and the whole unit together costs $89. So if you are a breeder and up in, you know, a starting breeder or even, you know, uh, an old vet breeder, um, and you're just looking for something that works, but a little bit more affordable, this was an awesome buy for us. We're actually trying to contact the company to see if they would donate a unit so that we could raffle it off or put it in a giveaway for our awesome customers. Um, but yeah, this, this was a really awesome buy. I will show the video soon of the baby that hatched in this incubator and it just worked amazing. This is our first baby lovebird hatched here in this incubator here at Royal Parrots. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button.